folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody is keeping well. So um, today we are just going to see what is coming out. So we'll see what is coming out and you can see if you are resonating with it. We can maybe ask some questions, dig a little deeper. So what is coming out? So we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So some of you are working a lot. I'm seeing like heavy work. Some of you are doing a lot like at home or you are juggling like a career and then you're coming home and you've got like family and um, it seems to be that you are like focused a lot at this time on your maybe work, your surroundings, your practical day-to-day -day living. For some of you, you are working hard in order to um, get like some sort of promotion or um, new job or it's something to do with like your finances, you're growing something. For some of you, it could be like a small business that you're working on as well. And it looks like you are uh, putting in the hours, you know, I am seeing that. We have the two of cups coming out. And we have the three of swords. Okay, so now I'm seeing a relationship. I'm seeing a connection here with someone. Someone that is very special to you. This could be someone that you are viewing as a soulmate, but I'm seeing like, it could be separation. So uh, maybe you have separated from someone with this three of swords. Maybe there's a fight happening between you both. Maybe you are kind of at one of those stages where you're not really, you know, on the best of terms with each other. This could also be something that is weighing you down at this current time. It could be a reason for some of you why you are putting your time and effort into like other things. Some of you are redecorating your house or, you know, um, just like doing stuff like that to maybe even distract yourself from whatever this is that's going on. We have the three of wands. There does seem to be this like expectant energy or feels like you are feeling like something will happen but you're in this sort of paused energy that seems to be I don't know if I would use the word like sometimes I think it feels a wee bit dull or boring or nobody likes a waiting energy so let's keep going okay we have a king of pentacles coming out so for some of you, you are dealing with an earth sign. For some of you, yeah, this is like a partner. This is like your husband and you guys are going through a difficult uh, period. For some of you, this is, it could be a boss as well, I guess. Especially if you have like uh, any sort of like partnership with someone with regards to work. Maybe you're having difficulty with that person. This could be someone here that you want to work on a connection with and you want to, you see this person as someone who, is or could be, you know, like a, a great provider, someone who offers stability. The Page of Swords. So it's sitting on that Ten of Wands card. There could have been some difficult news or maybe you or this person had to say something difficult to each other. It could just be as well, either the communication's not great between you both at this time. Yeah, if there's a separation, that could be the case. But it could be that you've had a fight, you know, and you're just kind of like not talking to each other. Oh, we have the four of pentacles, both of you like holding back from each other at this time. Seven of pentacles. Again, it looks like there's like a waiting energy here and the lovers. Nine of Cups is at the bottom, Queen of Pentacles. There's Ten of Swords and Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles is underneath it. Okay, so to me, it does look like you both want to reconnect. That's what it looks like. I'm seeing two people here who want to make up, <laughs> right? You want to make up, but you're both like holding back from each other and you're both feeling hurt and you're both kind of waiting. Both of you, are feeling a heaviness over this holding back from each other. And both of you are daydreaming, <laughs> it seems. Right, okay, so let's see. Let's look at this person. 
Let's look at this person. What are they thinking? Ooh. Five of Wands. So it could be some sort of conflict. Something that was said or an argument. Oh, the Hanged Man. Interesting. The Hanged Man, you know, it can be a stuck enough sort of energy, but for some reason I'm really strongly getting, because I'm reading thoughts that this person's trying to see like your side of things. I do see an attempt by this person to maybe step out of their own energy a little bit and try to see things from your perspective. The King of Wands. The Moon. person seems to be thinking about the specific moment that you guys became seemingly stuck. Confusion around some sort of argument. There's that fool again. Look, sitting under this person's energy. The Emperor and the King of Swords. Hermit. So I do see this person has been in like a very, very deep, deep period of reflection, self-reflection. There seems to be loads coming up for this person. It's making this person want to take action. But again, there's this like risk. Why is this risk sitting here? Do you remember I was saying earlier about this person realising that they put themselves like out into the cold? Hello, apologies, dosed as usual. So this King of uh, Wands, this person, right, who's showing again as wanting to take this risk and to take this leap and come towards you, but is stopping themselves. Um, you're stopping yourself from doing that too, because I'm seeing the energy going both ways. This person's looking at the break, right? Whatever it was, this obstacle. Um, and the moment that things kind of came to a halt, there was some sort of confusion here in the past. And I think this person uh, may also have had an opportunity to take some sort of leap, but maybe did not. Um, I'm seeing this person thinking about all of this and they've been thinking about it in, it looks like silence. Hermit, King of Swords, Four of Swords. And they've come to the conclusion that they have sort of put the brakes on. Like they were the ones who sort of put some sort of brakes on. I think you wanted some sort of like emotions from this person, but let's see. I want to see what this person is thinking about you. I've just seen the Eight of Wands. Maybe it was something you said to this person. How are they viewing you? Oh, Seven of Wands. Defensive. Guarded. Strength. Oh, okay, you're holding your ground. Nine of Cups, you're protecting your peace, your happiness, your contentment, the sun, yeah. Queen of Swords, yes, <laughs> yes, look at that. This person, Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, they are viewing you as, well, you're not yielding. You're not like caving or, you know, if this is a fight between you and your husband, for example, you are... You're not backing down, you know, you're not... I don't think this person's viewing you as being um, likely to be the one to break this, maybe, silence between both of you. So this person knows that they will have to be the one to sort of, like, reach out here. That you're not accepting any nonsense, is what I'm saying. I mean, you, you are showing us very guarded. You have happiness around you. I do see happiness and contentment around you. But you need this person to come, you know, correct. And that includes, you know, them sort of breaking the silence. Okay. So let's see. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? What are you feeling? 
Eight of Pentacles. I'm definitely seeing that mirrored energy coming through again. Because I was saying that with your energy also. So again, I think this is like you both ignoring each other, both focused on your day-to-day -day stuff. Five of Wands. King of Cups. The High Priestess. And Judgment. Again, I am seeing that this person feels like they are going to have to be the one to break some sort of silence here. But I'm seeing... Uh, this, um, emotionally, this person's feeling very, like, tumultuous, like, the water seems to be a bit choppy here for this person. It's around this, maybe, fight that happened. They were indicating something, maybe, that was said earlier as well, so some of you might have said something to this person. They're viewing you as that Queen of Swords. feeling called to take some sort of action towards you. Page of Swords, Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands, The Hanged Man and Justice. Knight of Swords, Wheel, Two of Cups, Okay, yeah, this person does feel like they need to... To me, it looks like there's like an awareness coming through here about needing to make something right, like apologise. There's justice sitting under that judgement card. For some of you, there could have been a third interfering factor. Does not have to be a person, although for some of you, it could have been. It does not have to be romantic either. This could be like an interfering friend or you know mother or you know whatever this person feels like they need to say something break the silence they're curious they're feeling curious but there is hurt here so this person feels like they've been hurt possibly by something that was said And they are seeing something differently. Okay, right, so call to pull out, or <laughs> called to reach out. Okay. <clears throat> what are you feeling in all of this? I know we looked at you earlier, but let's look at emotions. How are you feeling with regards to this person specifically? Lovers. So you do feel a very, very, very strong connection with this person. It's intense. Seven of Pentacles. The Emperor. To me, it looks like you are waiting for this person to come correct and step up. I think you're feeling a little bit, yeah, we saw that anxiety earlier, didn't we? Anxious that this person won't. But I think you sense that they will, right? I think you do sense that they will. Listen, you want this person to step up. To have some sort of strength here. Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Cups and the world. Yeah, so essentially I'm seeing that you would like this person to, you know, come correct, but you're not going to allow this person to affect your happiness and your inner peace, is what I'm seeing. So if this person, you're definitely not reaching out. I don't see, you know, you wanting to, or apologise, <laughs> if it's a fight between, you know, a couple <laughs> that's living together, for example. But I don't see uh, you as the viewer wanting to be the one to, you know, make some sort of first move here. Uh, both of you seem to be in agreement, uh, judging by this energy, that it's this person who needs to come forward and make some sort of uh, amends. And uh, there's an awareness of that that I'm seeing. So now it's just um, this person actually, you know, taking that action and uh, bringing forward this cup. So that is what I am seeing. 
I am going to extend this one. So for those of you on the membership, uh, we are going to look at what is going to happen between you and this person over the next six months. I want to see specifically if this person is coming forward with this apology and this cup to try to um, make things right and whether it's enough. So um, yes, that is what I am seeing. I hope that that has helped. Thank you all very, very much. And I hope you all have lovely days. Thank you. Bye-bye.